Hello, I'm your host Chris and welcome to a special six-part episode of Comic Tropes. They've been known as everything from the Infinity Stones to the Soul Gems, but comics readers know them best as the Infinity Gems. Six objects of power that each control an aspect of existence and when combined grant its wielder the ability to do anything imaginable. Yeah, in 1990's Thanos Quest, it was explained that they were once part of a cosmic entity that became lonely and exploded into these six disparate parts. But what do they each do? Who have been their wielders over time? I'm going to explain all of that, the comics history specifically, so that you can compare and contrast with the comics you may know or the movies themselves. Get ready to understand the nature of the Infinity Gauntlet. The Power Gem first showed up in Marvel Comics in 1977 in Marvel Team-Up issue number 55. In that story, Spider-Man had been trapped in a rocket ship in a previous issue that now crashes on the moon. But this is a special part of the moon that has oxygen on it, and he's saved by Adam Warlock. Warlock is the holder of the Soul Gem, and coincidentally was passing by when he sensed a life form on the rocket ship. The two are soon ambushed by the powerful cosmic entity known as the Stranger. The Stranger has claimed to be a being comprised of an entire race, and he obtained the Power Gem through unknown means. He attacks Adam Warlock to steal his gem, but Warlock is aided by Spider-Man and the Elder known as the Gardener, who held the Time Gem and was using it to grow a massive garden on the moon. The three drove off the Stranger. Thanos is later shown stealing the gem from the Stranger in an attempt to use all the gems to blow up some stars. That's comic books for you. After Thanos' plan fails, the gems are later shown to have been gathered by immortal aliens known as the Elders of the Universe. While it is not explained who has which gem, the Elder known as the Champion claims to have won his gem as a prize in battle, and he later holds the Power Gem, so it's reasonable to assume that it's the same gem. The Elders use the gems in a failed plan to kill Galactus, Eater of Worlds. In Thanos Quest number one, Thanos sets out to gather all of the gems again, with new knowledge that each gem has a specific power. Until this moment, the gems had all been referred to as Soul Gems. Thanos now called this the Power Gem, and visited the warring planet of Tamarata, where the champion used the Power Gem to defeat any and all he saw. Thanos goaded the champion into combat, but hid behind a force field, taunting and angering champion. Eventually, Champion used all his power, but Thanos teleported away and allowed Champion's power to destroy the entire planet. Champion found himself floating in space with no means of transportation, so he grudgingly traded his gem to Thanos for a ride to a nearby planet. Thanos honored the letter of his agreement by dumping Champion into the upper atmosphere. Thanos went on to use the Power Gem to enhance the other Infinity Gems he set about gathering and use them together to form the Infinity Gauntlet, allowing him omnipotence. Nevertheless, he was defeated by Adam Warlock, who divided the gems up amongst cosmic heroes he dubbed the Infinity Watch. He gave the Power Gem to Drax the Destroyer, a being of incredible strength, but who was also mentally impaired at this time thus preventing him from using the Power Gem for anything more than boosting his existing strength. Drax thought the gem was a jelly bean and ate it. The gems were later stolen, retrieved, and scattered across the universe, and the champion again obtained the Power Gem. It has been said that the Elders have an affinity for the gems and are drawn to them. The superhero She-Hulk encountered champion on the planet Skadon, where he was using the gem to win boxing matches. As a lawyer, She-Hulk argued that he should not have access to the gem because it counted as a weapon. Without the gem, Champion lost the match and agreed not to use the gem again. Champion then flew to Earth and gave the gem to She-Hulk's enemy Titania, who easily defeated She-Hulk in a fight. She-Hulk's friends informed her that the gem is drawn to people with one overriding desire. Titania's was to kill She-Hulk. So She-Hulk and her shape-shifting friend Ditto faked that, and then She-Hulk, as the unpowered Jen Walters, drew the gem to herself to knock out Titania. 
She-Hulk turned the power gem over to Mr. Fantastic to keep it safe. Mr. Fantastic, in turn, told the secret group of superheroes known as the Illuminati about this, and they gathered the gems and disseminated them amongst one another to hide. Mr. Fantastic hid the power gem. Later, the criminal known as the Hood learned about their existence from an inhuman who helped his leader, Black Bolt, hide the reality gem. Hood stole the reality gem and used it to sneak into the Fantastic Four's headquarters and steal the power gem. The Hood encountered Red Hulk, but with the Power Gem, Hood was easily able to knock him out. Later, the Hood lost the Power Gem to Red Hulk while he gathered other gems. Red Hulk hit Hood when he held only the Reality Gem, and while he was still conscious, he was beaten and Iron Man took the gems into the Infinity Gauntlet. Iron Man secretly teleported the gauntlet away, where the Illuminati again divided up the gems, this time giving the Power Gem to Namor the Submariner. The Marvel Universe was then destroyed and reborn, and the gems reappeared across the universe. The Power Gem was colored red in the past, but was now purple, aligning with the Marvel live-action movies. The gem was encountered by Star-Lord and the Guardians of the Galaxy, along with the Nova Corps, on the quiet, empty planet Zaitong. Star-Lord notes that it used to be a small, polished gem, but now was a massive purple stone. Ultimately, Drax opted to retire from the Guardians and agreed to live out a hopefully quiet existence guarding the massive Infinity Stone. The Power Gem is one of the most versatile gems and also one of the funniest. It allows its user to either boost their strength to peak levels or enhance the other Infinity Gems. It has been held by many dim-witted but already strong heroes. Drax swallowed it like candy. Champion used it to beat up heroes like Silver Surfer and Beta Ray Bill in a boxing ring. Alone, or in conjunction with the other Infinity Gems, it is dangerous in anyone's hands. That'll do it for the Power Gem. The next and final episode will focus on the Time Gem. And keep in mind that the guy that wrote most of these stories is Jim Starlin. So if you want to know more, that's the guy to look for.